I'm feeling like Mike Gray out here this morning. <laughs> it's my second cup of tea already. Oh, absolutely fantastic. It's my favorite tea, without a doubt. Rishi, lavender, mint. All you tea connoisseurs, definitely recommend picking some up, giving it a try. But enough with the Portland hipster granola talk. A couple announcements before we jump into today's video. First of all, I still have the 10% off discount promo going on with Speedy ePhoto right now. They are my go-to film lab. They have been my go-to film lab for the past year and a half or so now. If you want to receive 10% off any film processing and scanning orders, if you're mailing film in, all you have to do, put your film in a padded envelope along with a little piece of paper and note card, your name, email address, phone number on there, write my name on there as well. You will you will receive 10% off your final order. And if you're walking into the store, just mention my name at checkout and they'll hook you up with 10% off. All of that information is in the description below. Definitely recommend giving Speedy ePhoto a try. Extremely knowledgeable people. They've been doing it for almost 40 years now. Super friendly and a breeze to work with. And secondly, I'm very excited to announce that the Community Gallery is making a return. If you're not familiar, the Community Gallery is an initiative that I created at the end of last summer to basically host the work of film photographers online during the heat of the pandemic when meeting in person wasn't necessarily possible and it ended up turning into this massive massive gallery that I was not expecting to have happen but it, it was absolutely awesome we got 150 submissions from people all over the world and it was a place where people could connect with others appreciate the photographs of complete strangers the goal was really to just create a platform to share photographs for people people that actually care uh, on Instagram it's easy to just swipe through and you know not give a shit about the images that you're seeing sometimes the community gallery is a, is a place that's a little bit more serious it's uh, supposed to represent these artists best work and uh, best images and it's a place where other people can appreciate that so the rules uh, to submit anybody is allowed to submit from anywhere all you have to do is email me five to eight of your best film images and the way to email me, the best way is going to be to compress all of your images into a zip folder. So if you can select all of your images and compress them all into one zip folder and just email me that folder, <clears throat> that's going to make my life a lot easier. And you can submit to Braze Community Gallery at gmail.com. You have one week to do so. So from now until one week from now, you can submit your images. I'm going to be picking 75 total photographers to have their work hosted over the course of three weeks. So it'll be one week of 25, another week of 25, and one final week of 25. And if you don't get in this time around, don't worry because I'm gonna be bringing it back more frequently. I think I have a better structure in place now for how I want this whole thing to work. And so if you don't get in this time, don't worry. Just keep an eye out for uh, the next announcement. And there's definitely a good chance you'll be able to get into one of the future galleries. But yeah, super excited to see uh, what you guys send over and super excited to bring back the community gallery for round two. So without, and all that information, by the way, is in the description below. So if you're confused on anything, check the description. But anyway, uh, time to jump into today's video. Went up to Mount Rainier, wanted to do a whole episode, longer episode on Mount Rainier, but the weather was not cooperating. Avalanche warnings, wind chills down to the negatives, just stormy as hell up there. So I ended up just going up for one day, making a little, made a little video about it. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> Like every great adventure, this one begins on the side of a highway. First light was beginning to fill the brisk morning air as I drove past a scene that was reminiscent of something you'd see in the film The Witch. The patchy fog and dull colors resulted in some images that can either be viewed as spooky or beautiful. It's always a cool feeling taking a photo that can be interpreted in multiple ways. My destination today, paradise. And I don't mean that metaphorically. This place is actually called 
paradise, and that's for good reason. Situated at 5,400 feet on the south slope of Mount Rainier, Paradise is home to awesome hikes and incredible views. Although I have visited many times in the summer, this is my first true winter visit. Uh-oh, everybody. Looks like we got a classic case of a beautiful day out here in Mount Rainier, Washington. Oh, you'll love to see it. I was shooting a mixture of Portra 400 and Portra 160 on my Pentax 6x7, and on my Canon A1, I was shooting Ultramax 400, all overexposed by one stop to compensate for the snowy conditions. If you ever have the opportunity to spend a morning hanging out by a snow-capped river, I'd highly recommend doing so. It's hard to find a place that makes you feel more at home. What an incredible day. Oh my goodness. This was my first true landscape outing with the 28mm lens for my Canon A1, and looking back on these pictures actually kinda makes me regret selling it. Hopefully I can grab a 55mm for my Pentax in the near future. I'm on the trail now. Don't imagine I'll be making it too far because I don't have any snowshoes, but I'm hoping to at least get up to a cool view or get into some trees, grab a few pictures. It is absolutely beautiful up here. Spectacular views in every direction. Got the summit, barely starting to poke out behind some cloud coverage. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. It's making me wish that I had a touring setup because I'd love to come out here and ski some lines at some point. I would imagine it's probably not good to have water inside of the, uh, the camera here, but from my experience, the Pentax is a bit of a tank, so hopefully all shall be well. I kind of got it everywhere. Oh, there's a bunch of fucking snow in my shoe. God damn it. Oh, more snow in the... God damn it. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna lie, there's quite a bit of moisture inside of here. Um, okay, we're just gonna roll with it. See what happens. Maybe we'll get some sweet film effects or some shit, I don't know.
This may be my favorite image from the day. I love when a centered composition comes together. Grabbing an image through my ski goggles just for fun. The fact that this bathroom is called a comfort station, that just fires me up. Alright, why didn't anyone tell me how cool birds are? I mean, look at these guys. I believe this particular one is a gray jay, if my research is correct. Any bird experts out there, please feel free to correct me. Anyway, I have a funny feeling a new bird watching hobby is present in my near future. Although this story didn't end up taking the shape that I had originally pictured, I gotta remind myself that Mount Rainier isn't going anywhere. Well, as long as it doesn't decide to blow its top anytime soon. But with each new season comes an entirely new perspective, and it seems as though my relationship with this mountain has only just begun.